So we just got to hear all of those reasons to join the side of the Patriots. So we're going to go into our notebook. I'm right here on my next blank page in my history notebook. And I'm going to title it Patriotic. Propaganda. Patriotic propaganda. And what is propaganda? Propaganda is trying to convince you to take a side. So they're trying to convince you. And so our patriots are trying to convince others to join their side for independence. And what we have to remember about our colonies is that the people are kind of divided into thirds. So I have three sections. One, two, three. There we go. And so of my people, a third of them are patriots. They want independence. So they want independence. They want to be their own country and form the United States of America. So they want independence. Another third of them are what we call loyalists. They are loyal to the crown. They want to remain with Britain. They want to remain English. They want to remain a part of the English crown. And they like the king. And then you have a third of the people who are undecided. They might like the idea of independence, but they don't think that it would be very smart to fight in the war. And so it is this one-third that they are trying to convince, that our patriots are looking at to convince. They're not trying to convince the loyalists because the loyalists, they're loyal to the king. Those Tories, they're also called Tories, are loyal to the king. It's the one-third who are undecided that our patriots are trying to use propaganda to get them to join. And they do that in lots of different ways. Maybe it's in a picture, maybe it's in poems, maybe it's in speeches or songs and books and pamphlets and things like that. So here we go. We have three patriots we're going to look at. And so we're going to actually, so I'm going to have three patriots I'm going to look at. And I'm going to look at three things within them. So I'm going to go like this. There we go. Just like that. It doesn't have to be perfect. Mine's not perfect, but it'll work. Okay. So our first one, let's all remember he got up there and gave a speech. His name was none other than Patrick Henry. And Patrick Henry, man, he likes to talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. We don't call him a speecher because that doesn't make sense. What we would call him is an orator. Doesn't that sound way more elegant? He gets up there and he gives speeches to talk about freedom. And his most famous, famous, famous line that we got to know is, Give me liberty! Or, give me death. So he tells people that liberty, freedom is worth dying over. This is a war that we should be in. Our next person, I bet you guys liked that next video. That wasn't really him. That was a reenactment and he really didn't sing and dance. But our next person is none other than Thomas Paine. Thomas Paine is from England, comes to the colonies, learns about what's happening, and he decides to write a pamphlet. So he is an author. And I remember him because I think, you know, he's kind of a pain in the behind to the English because that 
thing that he writes is a pamphlet titled Common Sense, where he's saying it's only common sense that we break away. It only makes sense that you get your independence. You can do it. Join the patriotic cause. All right, and we got one more person, one more patriot, and there's lots of patriots, but these are just the three we're talking about. What makes this person unique? Come on, come on. What makes her unique? Oh, yes, that's right. It was a woman. Her name is Mercy Otis Warren. Mercy Otis Warren is a woman, and what makes her unique, she's author, She's also an author, but she has to write anonymously. Anonymously. She has to write anonymously. She cannot let others know that it is her because she is a woman. And if people knew it was her, they probably wouldn't read her, her stuff. They knew at that time period. Now, what does she do that's different than the other two? She's not an orator. Yes, she's an author. But, you know, Thomas Paine wrote this very straightforward pamphlet, It's Only Common Sense. She is different in what she writes, that she goes for the entertainment factor. And she recognizes that many people will listen to poems, plays, novels. So she's going to write in the entertainment factor to get people to join the patriotic cause. And so we have a third that are patriots, a third that are loyalists, not trying to convince those. We're trying to convince the third that are undecided using... Our propaganda.